Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another try on haul. So in today's video, I am trying a new to me boutique. The name is Macy May. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it anyways, though I don't really know how else you would pronounce it based on the spelling of the name. I guess there could be other ways, I don't know. But that's how we're, we're gonna call it Macy May. So I found them on Instagram. I don't remember if it was Instagram suggesting it to me like, hey, you try on a lot of clothes. This place sells clothes, would you like to connect? Or if one of my friends that I follow purchased and shared a photo or video or a story or something, I don't really remember. But I did follow, I've looked at the website several times and I finally made a purchase. So according to the website, they say that they primarily focus on sizes extra large through 3X. Now, I don't know if that's true plus size or if it's more so that boutique like juniors plus sizing. Every boutique I've ever shopped at sells a more juniors plus versus a true plus size. So we'll get into that and see sizes and all of that fun stuff. I haven't looked back at my like order history or confirmation, I guess, because I wanted it to be sort of a surprise for me as well. I mean, I did order it myself and I paid for it myself, but it was, it was a few weeks ago. Now I did look at their return and refund policy because I know that's something that a lot of y'all will ask me about. I'm not very clear on what it is. So there's a store credit option. There's a damaged or like yeah, I guess like a damaged product section. So what I'm gathering is they only do store credit. You can't get a refund like money back into your account. And when you do return things, you pay the return shipping. And I'm pretty sure in exchange, you get a store credit. They do have a policy like clearance items aren't refundable or returnable, store creditable, whatever you want to call it. And things that end in 99 cents are typically sale or final sale items. Again, you're looking at it on the screen, but I'm pretty sure most boutiques work that way that when you do return something, you don't get your money back, you get store credit instead. So I do wanna mention that. I'm very excited for this. I remember ordering pants, like super flare pants. Um, and looking at their website, they do quite a bit of like ditzy prints or animal print. And we know that's a thing that I like. So let's get into it. I will try to find everything and link it down below. That way, if you wanna grab something, then you can. And I hope you enjoy this and let's get into it. I think too, if something doesn't work for me or I don't really love it, I'll probably post it to my Poshmark. So keep an ear out and an eye out for the end of the video. I'll let you know if there's anything that I'm posting. That way maybe you can get it at a discount. All right, so let me back you up a little bit. All right, so first outfit, I remember picking this top now. Again, because of the like animal print, it's the softest material. It's like a ribbed, like thinner material. I love love the lighter like animal print pattern on it it's got a cute little seam here and then flowy at the bottom when i pulled it out at first i was like is that a dress but there's no way i'm pretty sure it's a top a little bit longer in the back is it then in the front you can see better than i can right now uh this is nice i love this top i will be keeping this it's in a size 2xl i remember i picked the 2xl now because it was more of a flowy top and i didn't want it to be I didn't want it to swallow me, like be too oversized. So this size, perfect. I love the length, I love the feel of it. So cute, the higher neck, the like ribbed material, so soft. Okay, we're off to a really good start. These pants, they are like a super soft legging material, but they look like denim. Why didn't I think of this sooner? These are in a size 3XL, so I'm pretty sure I was correct in saying that these are more juniors plus sizes. I am typically a US plus size 18, 20 across the board. However, with these like boutique styles, shift you a little bit, um, I'm more of like a 3X. I typically wear the largest size available. So these Q, they even have little pockets on the back, a super thick waistband. They are high-waisted. My belly button is here, and they're long enough. I love the wash of these. I'm obsessed. I love everything about these. They look like jeans, but they're not actually jeans. I, I don't even know what else to say, except for, yes, we love them. I'll steam them, obviously, before I wear them. 
but they're so soft and so comfortable. I think the 3X was the right size for me. I do have like a little bit of room in the waist, but they are sort of like a legging material, like legging idea. So they do have stretch to them. So this size, super comfortable. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. I love everything about this. All right, on to the next. All right, next we have this top. Again, with the same pattern. I don't know, I liked the little ruffle on the sleeve and then it had these like shoulder pads in leopard. There's not actual shoulder pads in them, but I liked the like mocha color with the animal print. Ruffle sleeve is super cute. Plus I feel like the ruffle sleeve is really, really cute with like flare jeans for some reason. All right, so this top is in a size 3X. The tag does say 3X, not 3XL, but just based on fit, I feel like it's more of a junior's plus size or maybe this one just runs small. It's like a curved hem. It is pretty long. You could like front tuck it if you wanted to. Again, I love the animal print. The color scheme of it is really, really pretty. I don't mind the fit of it. It is a little bit of that like clingy material, but look how cute, like with the ruffle sleeves. I think it's just like the cutest thing ever. Then we have this dress. I love the darker like floral pattern on it. I thought was pretty. So it's a tiered dress. You've got your first hem here. You've got a second one here. And then that's where it hits me. I'm 5'8 for reference. This one on the tag says 3X. I, I don't know, I like this one too. I feel like we're having pretty good luck. Do you tie this or not? It came tied, but I guess you could really do it. Yeah, we'll probably do it untied. These kinds of dresses are just so comfortable. Like there's so much room in them. It has a cute little elastic like ruffle sleeve here. I thought that this pattern could be nice because it is a little bit chilly outside if you wanted to throw on some booties with it. That was my thought process. It feels really nice. I really like the length of it. What do we think about this one? I think this was the right size for me as well. It's long enough too where I can wear my tried and true bike shorts underneath it. I always, always, always wear bike shorts under dresses. It's just more comfortable for me that way. Plus I feel like if the wind hits me in the right spot and my dress goes up, I'm wearing shorts. It does have a little bit of a ruffly collar right there as well. I think it's a cute pattern. The style, the size, I think is the right size. This next top, I remember the website, the model had it on with a pair of shorts and I thought it was the cutest thing because it's like a flowy top. This one's in a size 3X, has buttons down the front. Are they actual buttons? They are. I love that look though, like ruffly sleeve. I just put on a pair of shorts I already own. Um, but like the tiered bottom, I don't know. Again, on the model on the website, I thought it was adorable with shorts. Maybe I need shorts that are a tad bit longer. For the most part, like the top is really, really soft and I can always use um, more solid color tops that have a little bit of pizzazz to them like the buttons and the ruffle. Like this is cute with skinny jeans you could wear with leggings, you can wear it with shorts, like I've styled it if you wanted to even. Could you front tuck it? You maybe. I mean, I guess not really. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I just liked the look of it with the shorts because again, we're usually hot where I live for most of the year or warm anyways. So I thought this was cute with like some little black sandals, maybe longer shorts, but I like this. I don't think I would want to size down. I say that out loud. I mean, I could have sized down, but I like the, the point of it is to be a little bit oversized. And I feel like it is. And then surprise, I also got the pants in the darker wash. These are also in a size 3XL. They fit me exactly the same as the lighter ones. I wanted to get both pairs in case I really, really loved them. And then I have two pairs of flares that are super comfortable and I'm so glad that I did. So again, they have the pockets, they have the thicker, waistband high waisted these fit nice i love the length of them they're just long enough for me to wear like booties or little wedges or something they're comfy like even this top 
is kind of cute with it. Okay, love the jeans. Like, the most comfortable flares. I mean, they look like denim. I'm sure up close that you can tell that they're not. But they're just such a nice, like, idea. All right, so we're going to wrap everything up. I'm a little bit sweaty. Today, it's warm outside. It's been, like... 30s 40s maybe 50s and I think today is in the 70s so it's a little bit warm okay so let's talk about what I think about everything I am pleasantly surprised I guess I don't know why maybe surprised is not the right word but I did like something about everything that I tried on the pants a thousand percent I love them I will keep them this top I think is just a really nice easy top. You can style with so many different things. The shorts idea, I think I just need shorts that are a little bit longer so that you can actually see them properly under the top because it's definitely not a dress. So I want to be able to see the shorts underneath it. Let's see the other dress that I tried on. I do like it. The longer I looked at it in my big mirror in the living room, it's okay. Like the style is what I'm not so sure about. The color and the pattern and everything I think is really, really pretty. It's the style that I don't know if I love everything about it. The other tops, what do I have? That first one, oh, I love that one too. That light leopard or animal print one. The ribbing on that, that's a gorgeous top. So I'll be keeping that. The other um, leopard one with the little ruffle on the sleeve, I'm not so sure about. Um, so I'll probably end up posting the dress and the mocha and leopard top. This top, the other top, these jeans for sure I'm keeping. I may post the light wash ones just because I don't know how likely I am to wear the lighter wash, the dark ones for sure. But the light ones, I need to think about that. I'll leave my Poshmark link down below, by the way, in case you do wanna check it out. I'll also leave all of these items linked down below in case you do wanna shop. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy trying new boutiques, new places to me. Let me know down below if there's some places that you love to shop or if you've been eyeing some places but you haven't quite purchased yet because you're not sure. Let me know those two down below and I'll go through the lists and see if there's something that I like and that I want to grab for a video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.